It is raining hard. Oh my goodness. Tropical weather. It's been miserable and grey all day. What is going on, Florida? So I am editing some videos, and this is one of the videos that I did um, on the Tuesday, I think it was. Yeah, it was a Tuesday before I left last week. But it's really frustrating because James, uh, who does my set, helps me with my videos. He'd come and help me set up, and then left me to get on with him. But the lighting in the room had changed by the time I filmed the last two. So I look really washed out. Look at this. Uh oh. But what can you do? I'm going to have to use it and it's going to be washed out. Oh well, as long as people listen to the message, that's what counts. <laughs> oh, technology. Working team. <laughs> what are you working on over there, Kellen? Oh gosh. Everything. Everything? Everything. Like, such as? Just try and tie up loose ends here and there, little things that need to be done still. Well, James, James is inside working. I cannot see him. I will, I will find him. I've just been editing videos with James being hilarious in them. As per. But look at this weather, it's still cloudy. Come on sunshine, I need you. James is... I swore. No, I didn't record that. Okay. <laughs> Horrified by the thought. I didn't want people thinking I have a potty mouth. <laughs> what are you working on? Why are you in here by yourself when we were outside? Because it's raining and it's cooler in here and I'm working on some bundles, making notes, going through videos. I think this cloudy, rainy day has been a blessing in disguise for us because... We've got so much to do, and when it's nice and sunny, we don't want to do any work. So this is my office. This is your office. <laughs> Bits for the wedding. It's dark Exciting. In there. I know it is dark. That's why, like, why are you sitting here on the dark in the dark on your own? Come in the pool with us. We're gonna have a pool break in the rain. Uh, what? And get electrocuted when it starts lightning? <laughs> Come on. So I just realised that. <coughs> Yesterday was day, my vlog number 30, which means I have been doing my vlog for over 30 days now because I haven't vlogged every single day, uh, which is crazy because I set myself a effectively 30 vlog challenge and I have done it. Wow. So for me, I think it has been really interesting to see the comments, the feedback, the engagement from doing the videos, it's just blown me away, like, how... I don't know, it's just really... I just feel like the comments I get on the vlog are so much more meaningful and... Uh, I can't think of the right word. Deep? Um, than the normal comments that I would get, say, on my weekly videos. And the, just the interaction in general, it just seems so much more... Um, I don't know. It just feels like they have a bit more of an impact. The video, the vlogs are having more of an impact than the videos are having, and people seem to be getting a lot. Not that I intended for people to get a lot out of them, but people seem to be getting a lot of inspiration and help from the vlogs, which is really cool. So I am definitely going to keep it up. I think it'll be really interesting to see how it goes over the rest of the summer, considering I'm getting married next a week tomorrow, Ugh. and um. And then spending the summer at my then in-laws house for July. So it'd be interesting to see how it all works out. But um, yeah, I just saw it on the vlog when I was going through. Look, vlog 30. Crazy. And everyone has been very entertained by this one in here. I wonder why they're entertained by you, James. Who, me? Why could it be? Probably for our. Do you know James actually is a stand-up comedian? True story. It is a true story. 
<laughs> so I'm kind of a bit of a mean sister, but I threw it out of the goodness of my heart because I believe in James. And so I not last year I entered him into a comedy um, evening. What was it called? It was at the comedy club. And um, it was called King Gong. And I entered him into it and he was like, I'm not going, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. When he found out that I'd entered him when he didn't know. And he goes on and on and on and I got really annoyed with him. And so I had to go at him really, being a bit of a bully, but for his own good to give him a kick up the backside to say, you need to do this because you are amazing. So eventually he sucked it up and he did it and it was brilliant. You nearly la you lasted, he nearly lasted all the way. So basically you have to last to five minutes and then you get through to the next round. He lasted, a lot of people were lasting like 30 seconds and he lasted over four minutes, which was very impressive. Were you glad that, were you glad that I forced you to do that? Yeah, it was good fun. Did you realize that your fears were holding you back? My fears were definitely holding me back. Uh-huh. Um, but that's when I came up with that good quote. And it was the only thing that really got me through the evening, aside from having you and my friend Hannah there to support me. But the quote was, everything I want is on the other side of fear. And I kept saying, I said it in my head, I said it out loud, because I just thought... Once I'm over that barrier that I'm absolutely petrified, everything that I want, the excitement and the, the thrill and the applause and the, you know, the laughing is on the other side of that hurdle. So that's exactly. what kept me, that's what kept me going. And it really works. I think if anyone else is doing anything that's really terrifying them, everything you want is on the other side of fear. Do you want to share a quick joke with us? Carrie, I don't think they're quite appropriate. My comedy is... <laughs> My comedy is... Um, filthy? No, it's not filthy. It's what they call... Um, Inappropriate? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, no, there's a... Oh, what's the technical term for it? Um, insult. Insult comic. I'm an <laughs> insult comic. You know, kind of like Joan Rivers was. Sadly, R.I.P. Joan Rivers, Kathy Griffin. In the UK, you've got like Frankie Boyle. People like that who are... A little bit close to the mark, especially Joan Rivers, but, um, but that kind of comedy that pokes fun, especially at people in the spotlight, celebrities usually, doesn't really poke fun at anyone else who, you know, isn't asking for it. But, um, <laughs> but yes. I think you're very talented and very funny. Whee! That's why you're so funny on my blog. Yeah, maybe I'll come up with some comedy and I can use it, but... It'll have to be sort of borderline appropriate. So when James does his comedy, sometimes he dresses up as Ariel Nombayo, his character, and he wears a wig and he gets all dressed up. And people say that he looks like a female but of, when he's dressed up as a woman who looks like me. <laughs> it's true. Do you see it? Not right now, though. I look a mess. Yeah, but when you put a wig on and you do your makeup... People have said, oh my god, you look like Carrie. It's because we've got the same shaped face. I think maybe. Quite a long face. I look really weird in this today. Okay. Joe's makes me weird. Joe's what? You make me weird. I blame you entirely. It runs in the family. It does run in the family. And look. It's still grey outside. Which has actually been very good for us because we've been very productive today. I have edited four videos. I've sorted out my my um, week my video for tomorrow that's going out with my weekly email. I've also written the blog post that goes with that, and I've also written and scheduled the email to go out tomorrow. Woo! So that is done. I'm pleased with myself. Well, so we've done some of the bundle work for the members club. Jane's mainly has done that. Address and emails we have to set up. Productive day. So I guess I'm very grateful to the clowns, really. Even though it's preventing me from getting a tan and I need a tan for my wedding. Oh, and it's raining again now. Great. <laughs>